So this is our presentation about organic food. So is it a fad or a necessity? Uh, we choose uh, the yin and yang to represent the advantages of organic food in white and the uh, disadvantages in uh, black. The disadvantages. So yields yeah, yeah, uh, are smaller. The prices are very high. The organic food can feed the, the world war. And uh, you show your social class if uh, you eat organic food. And you can prove that you are rich enough to buy that food. The advantages. It's better for your health and for the environment. We don't use pesticides and chemical fertilizer. It has a better taste. Local farmers are favorable. And there is a smaller impact on the environment thanks to the local production. So despite being good for your health, buying organic can be expensive. So it, show, it shows us uh, what uh, we can buy in uh, industrial uh, food and uh, what we couldn't buy in uh, industrial food. So uh, this is a, a picture of uh, of canned food. Uh, it, I think it is a joke um, uh, of uh, chemical food because when you you buy uh, organic food, you don't buy uh, canned foods and uh, other, other things like that most of the time. And uh, this picture represents uh, an ice cream that comes from uh, fair trade. And uh, is a um, is another way to uh, is a kind of sustainable uh, way to fill the world also. And uh, this picture shows us uh, that uh, in organic food there isn't enough choice. So, for example, uh, the woman uh, can just eat uh, granny smith. Welcome to our special program. Tonight we are going to speak about organic food. So here with us we get the businessman Quinton Jackson and in front of him the scientist Ellen Clark. First Mr. Jackson, give us your, uh, give us your opinion about organic food. Uh, well, I think that organic food can be good for our health and skin, uh, but it has some disadvantages. Uh, for an example, right now we're 6 billion people on earth and soon we're going to be over 9 billion, so it's not the right solution to feed the world. And you, Miss Clark, tell us your opinion about this stuff. I think that uh, organic food is the best food that we can find. The food uh, we find in the supermarket is harmful for our health. There are some uh, chemicals inside. Uh, well, that's not totally true. Uh, the organic food also has chemicals because of the close fields and the wind, which is an important factor who creates this because it transports all the chemicals from a field to another one. Yes, but uh, we, we, can, we could make it grow in greenhouses. Secondly, organic food has a better taste. For instance, industrial apple is beautiful, right? But they use the wax to make it shine. Uh, well, if you make it grow in greenhouses, then it's going to get even more expensive. And the saying that uh, organic food is just a fad is going to become totally true, even if it is right now. So here we got an organic food coming from an organic shop. And here we got another one coming from the, uh, an ordinary one. So give us your opinion about those two apples. Uh, well, as you can see, the organic uh, apple looks a bit weird, and it's even smaller than the other one. And Joe, Ms. Clark, tell us your opinion about those uh, two apples. The most, is, the most important is not how it looks, but how it tastes. So um, Sami is going to tell us uh, which one is better. <laughs> so, I think that the organic one is far sweeter than the other one. 
So to sum up, organic food is um, is good. It's good for our health, for our skin. But the high price of it makes it inaccessible for the lower classes of our society. And of course, we cannot feed the world with organic food. It will send me an asthma and CNN. Thank you for watching.